what I do to make our goat's milk. This is a recipe that a couple shared with me that it has goats already and they said this is a little bit more gentle on their stomach than the powdered mix at the like flea farm or like country stores and stuff like that. This won't cause them to have an upset stomach or get sick from it. I know there's a bunch of different mixes out there that you can use for baby goats and the goats that we have were nursed until we got them. So when we got them, they were only two weeks old and then I had to bottle feed them. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do and the recipe that was shared to me to use um, for them. And so far it's been, I think like six days so far on here and so far they've been doing really good. You guys can kind of see in the video, they do really well with it. So. I'm gonna share with you what I do for that. So what we use is whole milk, buttermilk, and then evaporated milk. Um, so what I was told to do is pour out as much milk as maybe like, maybe four cups or so just so I have enough room in my gallon of milk to add the things that I need to add. So the only thing that I really need to measure out is the, butter, the buttermilk and that is just a cup. Okay, so a cup of buttermilk goes right in the gallon. Then I have a whole can of evaporate. Oh, that's not gonna go over very well. Okay, so much easier if you use a funnel because then I can just dump it right in there. So then I add that and there's only just like enough in there for that and then I just pour what I can for the rest of the milk in there to make it a full gallon. And then you just shake it up. So I'm gonna go ahead right away and make them some bottles because they need to feed right now. But I wanted to share with you how I made that. The rest of the milk I just dump in um, the other gallon that we have in the fridge. So then I write on here that it is goat milk so nobody accidentally grabs that. And what I do for feeding them and um, the measurement I use for that is I take one of our, just like a mason jar, but this is like a smaller, smaller jar. I fill it up all the way to the top. So I go all the way. Then I put it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. I go put this stuff away while that's in there. And then I will show you um, what bottles I'm using. Okay, so the bottles that we're using are just regular um, soda bottles. I have them labeled in their name. And then um, these we got from the tractor supply place in an area by us, so that fits on there. This is what we were told to use from uh, the couple that helped me with um, deciding what milk to use and then with one of our goats, the little one, he is having a problem with drinking out of this one. So I went and got a baby bottle that has like a slow flow to it and he does much better on this one. So I still want to keep this around just in case he gets a little bit better, but they only are on a bottle for a period of time and then eventually we will wean them off and they won't be using it anyway. So, but for right now, this is what I'm using and I will show you um, the amount that each of them get.
Okay, so I, for opals, I um, fill it all the way up to um, like, there's kind of like a line right here. So I kind of fill it up to there or almost to there. And I already have it measured out that she's getting eight ounces. That's Opal's bottle. And with Winchester's, I only need just a little bit. So he only drinks like, like an ounce or two maybe. He's not, he's the, um, the Nigerian dwarf one. So he doesn't drink as much. won't even drink all of that but that's that's how I make their bottles so they do get warm warm bottles and we will go feed, we'll go them. feed them right now and you'll see how good they're doing today and today is Friday so tomorrow they will be three weeks old and um, they're doing much better on their bottles so we'll go out and do that okay so Opa usually does really good and we got a new bottle for uh, Winchester because the other one comes out too fast. So you can tell that he does much better with this one. Before he was kind of choking on the other one and Opal right here does really good. Can't really show you, there you go, there you go. So Opal pretty much like downs hers like really quick. And Winchester doesn't usually drink all of his so he only gets like one or two ounces because that's all he pretty much does and she gets like eight ounces and she drinks all of hers so so tomorrow will be a week with these guys and you guys can tell from the beginning of the video on how we had to kind of force feed Winchester the bottle and now he knows exactly uh, what to do, but we kind of had to, um, I kind of kept up with like a schedule for them. So I kind of kept up with a schedule for them so that when we open the door to their little crate thing that they get a bottle and then, um, then it's playtime. So this is their afternoon feeding and then they'll get two more feedings today yet and they get some hay, some water, and then um, when they're outside, they get to graze on the grass and stuff like that. Um, and now that it's nicer out, they get to get out more often. And then eventually we'll have them just uh, in like a little barn or a little shed thing for them. So right now we wanna keep them close so we can bottle feed them. So Opal's almost done. What? You're back? Okay. You guys stink. I need to clean out your cage. Yeah, Winchester. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Opa. Yeah, Opa. Opa. You got your chip? Yeah. Yep. Chips. Chips. Yep. Yeah, don't go in there. I don't Usually, if I'm not videotaping, I'm able to feed both of them at the same time. So, Opal always does really Mama, good with. Leaving. You're leaving? Yeah. Where are you leaving? Um, on your car? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to you wanna feed Winchester? Yeah. Okay, bottle's right here. Right here. Feed him. Okay. That's because he likes that. He's kind of a snacker. And he eats a little bit, takes a breather. Needs to have a little bit more. Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay. 